Hi, and thanks for joining me. Today I'm here at the edge of the world's most dangerous river. And I don't say that lightly, or with any particular excitement. The stories of loss here are tragic, but it's in North Yorkshire, and the purpose of my channel is to show you as much as possible about it. Welcome to the Strid. First, to address the reason why this river, which is the River Wharf, and in particular this stretch, the Strid, has been given the title it has. It's because, as far as is known, anyone who's fell into that water has never come out alive. As you approach it, there are obvious signs warning of the risks. What's more striking when looking at it is that it doesn't look that dangerous. It's a stream in some woods where you might think the biggest danger is slipping on the moss and injuring your back or head on the rocks. There are plenty of accounts of people jumping across. There's even a video of someone trying to kayak down it who ends up looking a bit of a fool. And people regularly sit and relax on its banks. However, it's what is underneath the surface that brings the danger. If we take a quick look upstream, less than 100 metres to be exact, we can see it looks no different to any other river. However, once we get to the strid, you'll notice all of that water disappears, down under these rocks, causing deadly currents that are impossible to survive. What essentially happens when it hits this stretch is that the water is squeezed to around one or perhaps one and a half metres in parts. Over the centuries or millennia that it's been here, the water has forged a vast, deep array of caves and caverns that allow this river to effectively turn on its side while it runs through this section. One thing that strikes me stood here is how vast the space of water must be under these rocks. How far down does it go for all this water to be able to pass through? And how safe and secure are these rocks? These are all likely no more than overhangs above the water. I've spoken to a couple of knowledgeable people about this and the scientific answer as to why this stretch is so dangerous to anyone who falls in is because of the low density of the water at this point. There is very little buoyancy, meaning as soon as anything hits the water, it will immediately sink to the bottom like a stone. Then add to that the vicious and incredibly powerful currents running underneath, and you've got no chance. The most infamous life claimed by the Strid is William de Romilly in the middle of the 12th century. He was the son of Lady Alice de Romilly who owned the land around here and he fell into the river after trying to leap across with his dog. The story goes that his mother was so grieved by her loss that she donated the surrounding land to a community of Augustinian monks to pray for her son's soul. Centuries later, the tragic story was immortalised by William Wordsworth in his poem, The Force of Prayer, which you'll hear a bit of shortly. 
So for those of you who didn't know about it, that's North Yorkshire's The Strid. And even now, having said all that to you, I'm still tempted to try and jump it. To give you some context as to where I am today, if you want to visit, the Strid is part of the Bolton Abbey estate just outside of Skipton. Apparently, the abbey was founded by the monks who were donated the land by Lady Alistair Romilly. Far from my usual stuff on the coast and around the North York Moors, a good 40 miles or so to the west of the city of York, and in North Yorkshire's other national park, the Yorkshire Dales. As always, the relevant links are in this video's description. If you've enjoyed this video, then do hit the like button and make sure you subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos around North Yorkshire. Thanks for watching and I will see you again soon for the next one. This striding place is called the Strid. The name which it took of yore. A thousand years have it borne that name, and shall a thousand more. And hither is young Romilly come, and what may now forbid that he perhaps for the hundredth time shall bound across the strid. He sprang in glee, for what cared he that the river was strong and the rocks were steep? But the greyhound in the leash hung back, and checked him in his leap. The boy is in the arms of the wharf, and strangled by a merciless force. For never more was young Romilly seen, till he rose a lifeless corse.